Hey, what's up? I'm the Leo King, celebrity astrologer David Palmer. And you might be asking yourself, what is a celebrity astrologer? Am I an astrologer and do I do astrology just for celebrities? You know, being a celebrity astrologer is about embodying a lot. Not only being an astrologer and of course doing readings for celebrities, but it's about connecting the astrologer aspect to the media, to the world. You know, embodying the model part of myself or the TV personality that I've been in my life to connect to this 21st century and to connect to this new world with social media and with television. And Hollywood is tapping into the spirit world through psychics. Celebrities want to find their power of self. Untold with Maria Menounos, tonight at 8 on E! Especially, astrologers have been around for thousands of years on royal courts. They've been doing it for kings and queens. I mean, bringing the astrologer back into society. It's almost like being an astrologer has been axed out and we've been kind of put into our own little weird world. And I think that it's very important to utilize, you know, all the aspects of connecting to what we think of celebrity and pop culture and bringing these ancient science practices and all this wisdom to the mainstream world. And that's why, you know, building a studio like this here at the Leo King Studios and High Vibe Studios has been part of it, to be able to create my own networks, to create my own content. And a Taurus is gonna have their worth and be a little bougie like you, and it will work out. You can't go with a cheap person or somebody who doesn't know their worth. Guys who don't have self-worth is your biggest turnoff. That is! If you're not a confident man, get to step in. I can't deal. I can't deal. And then as time went by, I went on another big reality show called ABC True Beauty and I went on and I said, you know what, I'm going to tell the world I'm an astrologer. It's time. It's time to really own this. Because you have to remember being an astrologer is a little scary. You have uh, religious people who think you're the devil and then you have the scientific community who think you're schizophrenic. So there's this element of dealing with this aloneness in many ways of like having to have the courage to follow what a lot of people think is a belief, kind of like religion, which it's not. Astrology is a bridge between the spiritual and the science energy and bringing them together. With Saturn and Jupiter, the two biggest planets? Oh my God, talk about lessons about sex and want and desire. When you take Libra and you take Scorpio, this is the glue, the sex, the deep truth. Because a relationship's just a relationship, right? In Libra, it's always just like, hi, yeah, we're doing a relationship. What is Scorpio? Okay, I'm in this relationship, but like, that doesn't smell good. Or, ooh, that's really good. Or, you know, I always say it's the difference between the back getting scratched all the way. <sighs> or, yeah, that was an okay orgasm my duty to bridge both these together as a celebrity astrologer to connect with people, to make it fun, to make it poppy, to make it inspirational, to make it edgy, but also at the same time bring that depth. So there's definitely two parts of me. And don't you ever forget about my depth or my crazy radical fun that I know how to bridge together.